it's Monday evening, which for me is seven ingredients challenge meal time. So how are we all doing? Um, we had a nice relaxed weekend. We managed to do a lot of clearing out of the children's toys. So I just feel like, I don't know, I feel like a weight of lifting off. You know, when you go through a bit of a decluttering, it always makes me feel peaceful. Um, and then today, well, today I didn't have the best start and I thought, oh crikey, I'm not gonna get anything done and I'm gonna end up going to bed stressed. But somehow, I don't know how, but it all turned out okay. So I was able to create, hopefully, a lovely meal. So, ingredients. We had pasta, runner beans, butter beans, boiled ham which I actually got gammon and I've made into ham um, eggs avocado and sour cream um, Tesco's didn't have any runner beans believe it or not and I know Amanda White is gonna say to me the lady who suggested it that she's got some and she could have given them to me but hey ho I've used green beans instead so those are the only two sort of substitutes so let me show you what I've made and then afterwards we'll have a bit of a chat. Here we go. So we have ham gammon, smoked gammon, which I cooked in the oven with a nice fried egg. I love a runny yolk. I don't, I don't understand hard boiled eggs. I like a runny yolk. I like to dip in the runny yolk. Enough of that. Then I've made um, a type of hummus using uh, some of the butter beans, half an avocado, sour cream to get it nice and creamy, and then salt, pepper, lemon juice, and olive oil. And then here we have a warm pasta salad, which as you can see, is simply the pasta, the butter beans, and the green beans. But top tip, you know I don't like to waste juices and flavors and getting maximum flavor out of everything I cook because I only have seven ingredients so I used the juices from the gammon that I'd roasted in the oven to add extra flavor into my pasta salad and then on top of that I put a bit of lemon juice in because lemon juice is very good for actually bringing out the flavor of foods so there we have it back to me so substitute wise, do you know what? I haven't really thought about it, sorry. But substitute wise, if you don't like ham, I'm gonna say it again, and I know I sound like a broken record, but you can have, put substitute the gammon for chicken. Maybe not have the egg, although I love egg, so I'd probably have egg anyway, whether it went or not. Um, vegetarian, hmm, not 100% sure. So any vegetarians and vegans, please, I'd be grateful of your suggestions. Um, and I suppose, actually, I would say, if you wanted a fish substitute, I would go for a white fish. Again, quite meaty, so I'd say haddock, um, maybe cod, um, oh dear, hake, hake would be good and monkfish so something you know that has real meatiness to it and also that naturally has a nice flavor so that's why i ummed and ah about cod because cod it's a nice fish but it's a bit like chicken it hasn't got a lot of taste unless you do something to it anyway that's me have a lovely evening everybody and i'll be back to tell you if it was yummy scrummy and if my egg actually what stayed being runny because i've been talking for quite a while um or we had sandwiches. See you later.